Oh, hey. Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. You're probably wondering what I'm doing in this... in bed still. Don't worry, I've, I've been up for quite a few hours. If you can't tell by the fact that my hair is fixed. But it seemed like the appropriate place to be to ask this question. Why does everything suck now? All right, is that better? I'm out of bed, ready to work. So where was I? Oh yes, talking about why do things suck? Let me give you the genesis of where this whole line of thinking came from. The other day, my son got sick and I knew he had a fever. I didn't think it was that bad, but I didn't know. So I was looking around for the thermometer so I could check this. And I realized the thermometer is not here. We have one in China and we have one in France, but uh, the one that used to be in the house is no longer in the house. So I'm like, okay, no big deal. I'll just go to Walmart and I'll pick one up. Except I went to Walmart and it turns out they're closed. Closed. And I'm thinking like, isn't Walmart like a 24 hour, 24 seven operation? I guess not anymore. I mean, uh, the people were still in there. The lights were still on. They just weren't letting customers in. And I thought, what, when did this happen? Now the United States is no longer a 24 hour, and believe me, I searched everywhere for places that would be open at this hour of the night and um, nothing. Nothing was open that would have a thermometer. I mean, sure, the gas station, like you go to 7-Eleven, but they don't have thermometers. So that left me in quite a predicament. I, uh, again, I knew that the fever wasn't that bad, but how would I know for sure? So it just led to a very worrying night. Anyone who's a parent knows what I'm talking about, especially if it's your first kid or whatever. Terrible, terrible experience. Sorry. I've uh, got my old camera out. The last video about, uh, I guess, cameras has me thinking about it. Speaking of which, going to the store, you know, Walmart, they've got the supermarket thing going. It was kind of the, the cool thing about uh, Walmart, if you want to think of anything that's cool about Walmart, is that they were 24 hours, you know, whatever it was you needed. You need medicine, you need milk, you need bread or whatever ingredient. It's the middle of the night, 3 a.m. Maybe you work nights, you get off and you're like... I got to get something to eat. You could go to Walmart. They're open. Not anymore. Now, now they're just not. And, you know, you go into any supermarket at this point, and the prices are outrageous. Just crazy. You hear that? My lungs. It's changing weather. It's getting my uh, my asthma going. Anyway, I, uh, I was talking to somebody the other day about the prices at the supermarket. And to my surprise, they like they blew up at me. They're like, the market, the, the economy is better than ever. We've got the stock market through the roof better than ever. And uh, I, I was looking at it and I'm like, well, you know, one, the, the stock market doesn't really have a lot to do with my uh, my price at the supermarket if I'm going in and it's like, you know, because I like to get the good eggs because I don't like pale, weird eggs. You know, after I lived abroad, I discovered that eggs in America are really strange unless you pay a lot of money to get the good ones now. So anyway, I'm getting these, uh, these farm eggs and it's like, I can't find them for under eight bucks. I can't get a gallon of milk for less than like uh, five dollars a gallon if I want to get the good stuff for my kid, you know. I gotta pay extra for the normal stuff because if it's not organic, which my understanding of organic is that, you know, that's the way that it used to be, the regular stuff. Now the regular stuff is more expensive than all the science stuff, I think. I don't know what they're doing to milk to make it inorganic. Anyway, you, you spend all this money and this guy's blowing up at me and I'm like, well, you know, the prices are going up and up. I failed to see the difference between the supermarket and the stock market. Isn't it doing the same thing? I mean, it's another kind of market, right? So the prices are going up at the supermarket. The prices are going up at the uh, stock market. And it's getting to be to where like a regular old poor like myself has no business getting into the stock market. I can't afford it. I can't afford bread and milk and stuff. How am I going to buy uh, some crazy stock in Apple or something? How am I going to invest any money? I guess I'm not supposed to. I'm a regular poor, but you get the point. It's just another kind of inflation, isn't it? I mean, they like to parade it around as though it's something that's great, but to me, well, that just, that's the same thing. It just shows, that proves my point. Everything sucks now. You'll have to excuse me for jumping locations. 
looking at that old camera, it kind of got me reminiscing, and I thought, ah, you know, I, I kind of want to go out to the park and take some nice photos with the old camera for old time's sake. And wouldn't you know it, you know, it was blue skies, beautiful blue skies, sunny. And then the moment that I decided to go to the park to take some photos, well, the clouds rolled in. I knew the phone said it was going to be cloudy, but ah, <laughs> it was sunny. I thought that the weatherman was wrong. I guess uh, it was just waiting for me to come out. Anyway, you want to know something else that sucks these days? Fast food. You know, I was at the McDonald's the other day and I ordered a Big Mac, just the Big Mac, not the meal, keep in mind, just the Big Mac. So I get the, uh, the total and it's like 10 bucks, 10 bucks for a Big Mac. And it got me to thinking about this. I mean, uh, what's the, uh, the federal minimum wage now? 725 an hour? I guess, uh, just think about it. You know, if you have like some high school kid and you're like, hey, I've got a job for you to do, and you know, it'll take about an hour and a half. And like, all right, sure, I could use some extra money or something. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna pay you with a Big Mac. How many kids do you think would sign up for that? An hour and a half for a Big Mac? I know I wouldn't. Even if I was hungry, I'd be like, what the heck? <laughs> That's terrible. I mean, it, it's not like the, uh, the Big Mac is suddenly better in some way. It's not like they've added gold to it to increase its value. It's the money. The money is the problem, I guess. So the money sucks too. Getting fast food sucks because it, you know, hurts the wallet. And the money itself, every time you touch it, you know, it's like paper cut or something. Something like that. Or like it's hot. No, no, that's, you know what I mean. Painful. Ah, back from all of that. I managed to get uh, one photo out of the old camera. I didn't charge it up enough, go figure. And by the way, why didn't you guys tell me my eye was all red? I mean, I looked like a, a fool out there. Well, actually, I didn't really encounter anybody, so it, it didn't matter, but... Um, it, what do you do? You know, I could have put, like, some eye drops in. Of course, you got to worry about... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. you got to worry now. I, well, maybe you don't. The other day, there was like a recall on uh, eye drops saying that they can, you know, like mess up your eye or have some kind of bacteria in them. Not cool. I mean, that sucks. Anyway, that's uh, that's the stuff that I've been thinking about lately, about everything sucking. I mean, just look at every major city that you go to in the United States these days. They've all got like shanty towns. I don't know what you'd call them. They used to call them Hoovervilles. I, I wasn't alive for that. I heard about that in a, a history class. But, you know, you go in and there's like a tent city of homeless people in the city. And uh, that wasn't a thing back in the day. I mean, there were homeless people. There's always been homeless people in the city and stuff. But shanty towns? What's going on here? Anyway, I want to hear from you guys. Tell me what you really think. I mean, uh, maybe, don't. Uh, you can lie to me uh, to protect my feelings. You tell me how handsome I am. And also, what have you noticed that sucks lately that maybe you didn't notice before? But maybe I got you thinking here with this stuff about things sucking. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel because um, I make videos and uh, you never know. Someday they might be good. Anyway, I'm going to end it there. I'll see you guys in the next one. Maybe. ไปพวงลุงเฝ้าพระเจ้าบางกงอ้างเวงงลุงเกอ